Beckman Andreas Award in Vision Research celebrates the commitment to benefiting the world through scientific excellence, shared by Dr. Arnold O. Beckman and Ambassador George L. Argeros. Dr. Beckman, a renowned chemist, engineer, investor, and philanthropist, transformed the scientific landscape by inventing revolutionary laboratory and commercial instruments. These included the pH meter, the first easy-to-use spectrophotometer, an oxygen sensor to monitor premature babies in hospital incubators, and an air pollution gauge. In 1977, Dr. Beckman, together with his wife and partner in philanthropy, Mabel Beckman, founded the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation to promote scientific research and education. Through their extraordinary philanthropic efforts, the Beckmans have touched countless lives by providing critical support for groundbreaking research in chemistry and the life sciences. George L. Argeros, a real estate leader, philanthropist, and former ambassador to Spain, met Dr. Beckman in the early 1970s, marking the beginning of an exceptional friendship. From 1990 to 2012, Ambassador Argeros served as chairman of the board of the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation, in which capacity he oversaw $600 million in philanthropic endeavors. In 2013, the Beckman Argeros Award in Vision Research was established to recognize and support innovative scientists working to address challenges in vision research. By supporting the work of outstanding scientists, the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation continues the legacy of Dr. Beckman and Ambassador Argeros of supporting the betterment of humanity. This year's Beckman Argeros Award in Vision Research is presented to Dr. James Fujimoto, Elihu Thompson Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at MIT for the development of optical coherence tomography. OCT provides real-time three-dimensional information on the structure of the eye, aiding in the diagnosis of disease, assessment of its progression, and response to treatment. Since its development, this technology has had a worldwide impact on healthcare, extending beyond ophthalmology to other medical specialties. In the true spirit of Dr. Beckman and Ambassador Argeros, this achievement would not have been possible without a collaborative team in fundamental science, engineering, medicine, and industry. OCT is essentially a type of optical biopsy. This is a technique that allows us to visualize pathology or structure and tissue in situ and in real time. Our original research focused mostly on measurements of high-speed phenomena in, in so-called condensed matter physics. We also realize that it's possible to do femtosecond measurements of echoes of light in the eye. So this is what really led us to the concept of trying to use optics or light uh, similar to the way that you would use ultrasound. I was uh, looking for a PhD project and I was lucky enough to uh, end up in Professor Jim Fujimoto's uh, femtosecond laser lab. We first look at measuring the thickness of the cornea and the depth of the anterior chamber. And then we look at measuring the thickness of the retina. We were able to see layers inside the retina, not just measure its thickness. And so we started scanning the beam. And that was the first OCT image. For me personally, and I think for the members of our team, there was really a lot of excitement because we realized that, oh, we can take these, uh, these new methods, uh, methods which are telecom methods, and then apply it to a new area. The team's paper, Optical Coherence Tomography, was published in Science in 1991 and has been cited over 10,000 times. The laboratory setup I had was really not fast enough to scan things in a moving biological specimen or clinical situation. So we were lucky that Eric Swanson, who was at MIT Lincoln Laboratory, was willing to help us improve the system. Eric was working on satellite communication and he designed the initial system and the initial patient interface, which was then later used uh, for clinical studies. I'm very fortunate to have met Professor Fujimoto and been in, invited me to get involved in this technology and, and all, our, all the collaborators that we've worked with over the years. I'm just proud to be part of the impact it's had on quality of life. So the next step was to perform uh, clinical studies and we were very fortunate to work with the New England Eye Center. Um, we had a prototype instrument and uh, in the early years of OCT we imaged over 5,000 patients 
And really the next step was to transfer technology to industry. In our case, we had a startup company that developed a very simple prototype, and then this was later acquired by Carl Zeiss. Zeiss then invested in the development uh, of a commercial instrument. OCT is the most rapidly adopted technology in ophthalmology ever. We're able to reconstruct three-dimensional maps of the back of the eye with a high degree of precision and it is much easier to decide who needs treatment and who doesn't. This started out as a pure research tool in a laboratory at MIT, and now it's a device that is in every ophthalmologist's office in the United States that touches millions of patients per year. You know, any large-scale successful technology like this requires an ecosystem, and I would have to uh, attribute it to Professor Fujimoto. When you put these different talent pools together, you get more than the sum of their parts. The virtue of being in an interdisciplinary environment is to mix the ideas from one field into the next, and I think that was very well illustrated by what Jim did. He was doing a fundamental uh, physical study, and then when he realized that it could apply to medicine, how he took that knowledge and completely transformed his research and had a huge uh, impact on society. It's been a global phenomenon, starting with government funding of an engineering project. The engineers have benefited, the clinicians have benefited, the patients have benefited, and industry has benefited. It's been a win-win situation for everybody. I think one of the things that's exciting about this technology in this field is that it has such a wide range of applications. Our group works in ophthalmology, but we also work in endoscopic imaging, in cardiovascular, in, in pathology. You can look at the coronary artery. It's hard to do a biopsy there, so if you can bring these minimally invasive probes to scan through the artery, you can get a tremendous amount of information. So ophthalmology, cardiology, you know, imaging cancer within organs throughout the body, uh, guiding surgical procedures. There are lots and lots of applications for OCT. Jim has created an entire discipline, so he not only started a new field of study, but he's helped uh, so many people with this invention. If you look back on the past 25 years and the impact on, on mankind in terms of quality of life and reducing pain and suffering, that's, that's a tremendous accomplishment. With the support of the 2017 Beckman Argyros Award in Vision Research, the Fujimoto Lab will develop new methods to enable optical coherence tomography to image function as well as structure techniques which promise to accelerate clinical research and improve patient care, as Dr. Arnold O. Beckman and Ambassador George L. Argyros envisioned. For me, it's, it's very exciting to, to say, oh, is this problem solvable? Is there a technological solution? Is there an elegant solution to this? And I think this drives in a lot of fundamental research curiosity and the desire to, to see that solution and to, to construct it. At the same time, how would we apply these, these solutions to real problems that are important for society? And fundamentally, I think that the role of uh, science or engineering should be to serve society. The Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation will allow us to continue working toward this goal, and I am grateful for their continued support.